This project is funded by the North Dakota Soybean Council. It is uh, directed at looking at remediating sodic soils to improve them for soybean production. The site that we're working on is actually sodic, which means that it has high concentrations of sodium and generally a low electrical conductivity. When you have these conditions, the soil tends to disperse or swell and it reduces the, the movement of water. We have two locations, one is tiled and the other is untiled. So the treatments we're using for this project are sugar beet spent lime, which is a common calcium product that we have in the Red River Valley. We're using a flue gas desulfurization gypsum. This is a byproduct of the coal combustion industry. So the other product we're applying is calcium magnesium sulfate. Soon the, we'll, we'll be planting alfalfa on top of these, these amendments. The alfalfa has an advantage over other crops is that it's very deep rooted and it's not often that you'll see roots that are as big as my finger. So what we're hoping is that the alfalfa will, will break through and go through. The, there's a, um, a clay lens about 14 inches below the soil surface and when this dries out it becomes very hard and it becomes very difficult for plant roots to penetrate. But alfalfa is very good at this, they're, they're very, very strong roots. So we're hopeful that with the, with the improved root structure, with the amendments, that we'll start to improve water flow. I think it's very important to have a demonstration on Sodicity in Sargent County. Um, it allows the farmers to see it firsthand. We've been talking with producers to find out what tools they need to manage some of the issues that they're having in their soils. So this was one that really came up with the Sodic Soil Management that, that they're looking for amendments and things that they can apply to start making a difference and improving their yields. I'm looking at that how these amendments are changing the soil microbial environment and how that is going to change the soil microbial activity over time. With this project, I look forward to helping other producers in the state with sodicity issues and I'm hoping that we'll be able to find a way that really works um, either on tiled land or on non-tiled.